Good morning, everyone. If you're watching this at night, good evening and good night. First off, I would like for y'all to go ahead and like and subscribe on my YouTube channel if you're interested in learning how to do some hair or if you want to just be on entertain. It's up to you. No, you better like and subscribe now. Jesus Christ. Alright, anyways, like the subject. Today I will be putting a wig on. I don't have clips. I don't have the proper, you know, utensils and all that. But I improvise. So I already plucked the hairline. I ain't pluck it too much. Um, because I don't want it too thin. And um I made some edges, of course. I probably made it too long. But I want it to look as natural as possible, so we'll see how that goes. First off, you have your hair braided here. And I'm all about hair care. So I put like, you can have any type of oil. I recommend Jamaican castor oil, which I'm out of right now, especially for your edges to keep them strong and moisturized while it's under the cap. And you no know, gel dries out your hair, so. Definitely recommend putting the oil on or putting beeswax. I put be beeswax too, a little bit, but um, but not too much. Okay. So first, we're gonna start off with got to be glue, the black one, since it's not as tough as the yellow one. Doesn't turn as white either. To push, I'm gonna use this to push all this back. All the little bit of hair she has. Go and keep it going back. Dang, I look tired. Let's fix my lighting, y'all. I'm sorry. Mm, brush. These hairs must stay back at any cost. And of course, I braided my hair the best of my ability. Here's the back, because I have a really weird shaped head. Don't ask. I would just, just came out crazy. I guess my parents forgot to shape it right, you know what I'm saying? But you know, that's how I braided it, because I like to combine these two to make go into one going down, then I just incorporated all the other braids into the other braids. While going down, I added like that. So that's how I did the braiding pattern. You can do it your own way. It's inspired from a lot of other YouTube people on here and other beauticians. But I do I do my own way because my head shape is crazy. All right. So everything slipped back. Hopefully it will stay like that. I'm gonna put a little bit of got to be glue free spray on there too. Gotta make sure I just spray everything right. So make sure. Um, this will make sure everything will that for sure. I'm telling you, these two, the other day when I did my deep, deep condition, my edges stayed the whole day. When I tell y'all, it stayed the whole day. It stayed the whole day. All right, so now we're gonna put the cap on. So I got a brown stocking cap. It turned out to be way lighter than I thought when I put it on my head yesterday. But we don't work with it. All right. Oh my God, look at my head. I don't. Alright, put some glue. You know, 
a regular black got to be glue to identify where my hairline is. Also, what I like doing is for your ear, get that hole. Oh my God, I'm gonna crack on myself. <laughs> Boom. Don't worry about this. Can't see it. So, to continue, put this gel on my head and it's freezing. On your hairline, y'all, keep it on. Not, yeah, then, on your hairline. What you don't want to do is put this glue on your hairline because your edges are done for. So, we're just gonna. This is how it looks right now. It's a little wiggly, of course. But guess what? It's gonna be a bit. This is to dry your hairline. It might take a couple minutes. Five minutes later. Alright, we're back, y'all. I dried it for like five minutes or so. So here we are. Ooh. We're just gonna cut it. And I want your, I want my stocking to be right above my hand. Now. So you want this to be right in front of your hairline. So obviously it's definitely in front of my hairline. I cut the excess off the back too. As you can see, I am putting got to be glue on the stocking cap hairline to make it look more neater. And if you have to, I went back and cut a little bit more of the sideburn part because I don't have much of the sideburns. So I went back and cut that also. All right, y'all. So now, last step to the me melting or finishing or cap. You put whatever base powder you have on it. So I got the Sephora Nutri Mocha, cause I'm a Nutri Mocha girl. <laughs> and you just do that. All right. I like it. So I'm gonna clean up my face real quick, make sure I get all the makeup and stuff on my head. I'm still cutting.
get I'll, I'll get alcohol to wipe my face. Use I use fifty percent since it's not too bad on my skin. So any residue you can get. I'm being so careful with this because I don't know what I'm doing. This is my first time putting the wig on. I'm really excited. Here's a real quick tip before you put on the wig. I recommend to cut the lace off the back of the wig. So it'll be so you don't have to worry about it at the end. Okay. Now I'm gonna go get some pins real quick to clip this back. And then we just gonna do some cutting in case. Yeah, dang, my hair don't lie. Really poofy. But anyway, we'll be right back. All right, y'all. I um, pinned it back and I started cutting. Slow and careful right now. All right, this is how it looks, not glued. Finale, final. All right, so I've heard good things about this ghost bond. I don't know if you can see it, if it'll focus. Now me on the bottle. But anyway, it says Ghost Bond XL with extra moisture control. So it's specially formulated for only oily scalps. Mine. High humidity, Florida. Heavy perspiration. Per I can't even say it. I can't see. Perspiration. And I don't even know what that means. So I'm gonna look at that up Okay. So. Now we're gonna. You know, that in front of the lace. I got a whole lot of forehead room to do this, so besides putting on the cap, I could put on the cap, but no. Nah. I got a Q-tip. I took off the other side and I'm gonna just spread it.
almost ready. It's not ready yet, y'all. I'm gonna just go ahead and clean up a little bit. Voila. Y'all, I'm really excited. I got a little bit of glue on my fingers. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up. Make sure all the mirrors are out the way. It doesn't have all your fingers. Make sure I close this, cut this shit. Oh my God, I need some This sounds pretty good. Alright, now it's disappearing. Let's take a look. Not too bad for the first try. Got some practicing to do. Any tips y'all would like to put down, just let me know. Comment below, please. I will definitely. Respond. So now I'm gonna start it. But this is my very first time, by the way. Very first time. Never even put a wig on. But if you like what you see, go ahead and press the like button and subscribe. Y'all know it's tea time. And now I'm really like I'm really satisfied. I'm happy. I need a trophy on top of somebody. <laughs>